Hey uh, everybody, so today we're going to do a review of the top um, uh, coding editing tools that we have today um, in the market and um, I'm going to speak about them in general. Now I'm, I'm not going to go in a particular order uh, because there is a lot of confusion around what is a code editing tool versus uh, what is an IDE versus uh, so on and so forth. So. <clears throat> uh, th there is no right answer you have to pick and choose based on your need uh, so I'm gonna go based on the project requirements that you might have so first thing first I think uh, Visual Studio Code is the uh, is the code editor that I would recommend for anybody who's starting out and uh, this is this is one of the code editors that I am personally using I really love this particular code editor it is a uh, <coughs> code editor which has been uh, uh, which has been developed by Microsoft uh, which is quite good because uh, I haven't seen Microsoft really uh, moving into the world of developers and creating something which is open source and value adding to every developer around the world and with this particular code editor they have done exactly that they have a Mac version and they have a Windows version so they are not creating a platform which is only based on Windows I think uh, partly because Microsoft is also realizing that in a market where uh, everybody is agnostic of the platforms, Windows is no longer the chosen platform and a lot of us are moving to platforms like Mac and Unix and Linux. Uh, they have to stay relevant and they cannot just stay with the technologies of .NET and so on and so forth. So I think this perhaps is one of the ventures into the area of code editing uh, another one they're trying to do is creating a script called TypeScript if you've heard about it and uh, that's kind of uh, a super set of JavaScript um, but I won't get into that but what I wanted to tell you is that Microsoft seems to be changing its strategy and becoming more ubiquitous across platforms and you know it is no longer a, a, a be all and end all and only you know either you're a Microsoft club guy or you're out of it kind of an approach so they're no longer in that mindset which is good because uh, you know, the market is really opening up uh, in the developer community and today uh, just a few guys can come together create a code editing tool or a front-end framework and and that could become like uh, the one which everybody wants to do use so uh, this is a good one this is pretty heavy in terms of usage uh, but it's still good for newbies because it's got a debugger mode it's got a github mode so you connect to github directly uh, uh, and you you can you know do a pull request or a push uh, push into the github resources uh, so you you can play those things around it's got a debugger mode and uh, it's got very good extensions so it's got extensions for and de debugging extensions for chrome and for python and it's got a plethora of extensions which is very good again because it's open source you can also help create a plugin and you know it will be accepted as a extension so all in all a good software it's little heavy as i mentioned but I don't think for starters that should be a problem because you're not going to be dealing with large softwares you pretty much would be large, large codes you would pretty much be using you know few files to make your uh, d d directory uh, so from that point of view it should not be a problem but yes if you're operating in a large environment I don't know how this will be used uh, uh, <coughs> across um, multiple projects anyway so that was uh, visual studio code which i think is a good one uh, another one which is doing really well is called atom uh, and atom is uh, an open source code again uh, i have used this this is as far as I see this is very similar to sub uh, sorry this is very similar to VCS because it's kind of heavy it's not very lightweight unlike sublime text which will be our next one uh, but this is again good for starters because it has got a lot of plugins which comes in through so you can install plugins like Emmet and uh, you know it becomes really productive uh, uh, for programmers so this is good I have used it it is it is a decent one uh, but somehow I think I moved on to VCS because 
I found that VCS was more user friendly. This is this was a little less user friendly for me personally. But that being said, this is not a bad tool, um, text editor at all. This is very good. It is again open source, so you can also contribute to this particular uh, text editor. Uh, it it is. Um, uh, it is able to uh, use plugins and all those features which any other text editor will have so all in all a good one to have uh, the third in my list and uh, this is by no order uh, good or bad i think all of these are really good uh, is sublime text of course and sublime text is uh, one of the most famous text editors as you would know i have used sublime text and by far it is one of the fastest text editors that one could ever have i fell in love with this product it was outstanding however i don't think i was okay with the price tag of 70 dollars for a text editor while you already have other text editors like uh, vcs and atom which are absolutely open source and free uh, this text editor will cost you money. You can of course use the trial version, but it has an annoying feature of uh, of a reminder which will come up I think every 20 or 30 saves that you do. So that is something that you'll have to live with and I was not okay with it because there were times when I was trying to do something and I would, I would, I would just type command S um, because I wanted to save my file and this annoying thing would come up and this is really not good because you it, it sort of distracts you uh, and I think for that reason and only that reason is why I left sublime text and moved on to other text editors but all in all it is a very good text editor very 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 fast uh, it does not come with features upfront so you can build it up so it's it's bare bone when it comes up but there is something called as a package manager which you can use to download packages like emit and which will help you uh, become more productive as a programmer uh, so you can download as much uh, packages as you want uh, for this text editor but this is uh, i think number three in my list uh, as a text editor there are a few notable mentions which I would have I, I think this is it uh, I would if I were you I would go with Visual Studio Code followed by Atom and and perhaps Sublime Text uh, Atom and Visual Studio are very very similar so I don't know how you would choose but just play it around and see if you think that that's a good one for you personally I would I would go with either uh, a couple of more and please don't you know uh, quote me on this one because I don't know if they are number one two three or four but Vim is another uh, text editor which you must have heard about it's it is generally used by uh, the <coughs> the next level of code uh, uh, programmers uh, typically not the beginners it, it is used by intermediate and expert the reason is because uh, it is uh, it's really you know it's really bare bone and it is also uh, command terminal based so this does not have you know too much of click features you can't go click it is all based on text so if you have to uh, you know if you have to let's say use git clone you have to go and type all of those stuff uh, so it's very command uh, terminal based kind of thing so command prompt based, based kind of thing which is which is good because you know that's pretty fast but uh, you need to learn this particular text editor there is a sort of a learning curve it is not an easy one to get into so I would not recommend this for somebody who's starting out his career as a web developer or a developer because you don't want to be spending too much time in in learning a text editor you would want to rather spend that time in learning the programming language uh, however if you uh, are into programming and you have been doing this you would definitely be aware of vim and it's a very very famous text editor uh, currently which is there so this is there and uh, of course there are few worthwhile notable mentions so there is brackets I, i'm sure you must have heard about it brackets is uh, a text editor but it hasn't done really well it it the good part for this was that it had a feature where you you could immediately go and view your index html page without uh, uh, without going into the browser so it, it it had sort of an integration with the browser so all your changes would be visible immediately so that was kind of a a, a good feature here so 
uh, that perhaps is one of the features but now i think that feature has got uh, you know uh, emulated uh, emulated in other text editors also i saw something similar here where somebody had created a, a plugin where you could start and view your html pages immediately the moment you code so brackets doesn't really now stand out plus it's also really heavy because it comes up with all those plugins you know inside it uh, and it's not really recommended for anything beyond web development so uh, perhaps not a great choice but again check it out it's uh, i think this is created by adobe and uh, this is uh, a good one but not really the best one so again capping uh, recapping what we have said uh, the first one i would definitely recommend to you uh, would be visual studio code a pretty decent one it's slightly slow but it doesn't really matter for somebody who's starting out second one is atom Build, uh, this is the both of these are really uh, neck to neck in terms of their capabilities so it's really up to your personal preference and sublime text as i was mentioning very fast but it has that annoying uh, <coughs> prompt which will come and uh, sort of ask you to register every 20 or 30 saves uh, vim kind of tough uh, learning curve high you know not recommended for beginners but yeah it's it's quite famous and brackets perhaps a noteworthy mention uh, so you have you have several like you know you have notepad plus plus and i'm not going to go into all of that because uh, there are dime a dozen text editors so i will not get into all of this but i'll just stay focused with visual studio code atom and sublime text so those were the topics of uh, the text editors hope you like this video if you'd like to put any comments uh, and give me uh, or share your preferences with other users and why you prefer this uh, please go ahead and do that i hope you enjoyed this particular session please give me a thumbs up and thank you very much for your time goodbye